What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more Series 2 content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, I want to showcase Iron Valiant. So I'm bringing you guys an Iron Valiant team, but this time it features two other Paradox Pokemon, Roaring Moon and Iron Bundle. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Considering we are pumping out Series 2 content, I want to bring a video on every single Series 2 Pokemon. So, again, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of that. But like I said, we're using Iron Valiant today. Iron Valiant is one of the coolest looking Paradox Pokemon out there. It just looks insanely amazing. Just want to use it and showcase it for you guys today. Plus, it has two really strong meta Paradox Pokemon, the Roar Moon and Iron Bundle, like I already mentioned. And I'm telling you guys, both those Pokemon are top tier when it comes to Series 2. But we can get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview. Starting off with Torkoal. And Torkoal, I feel like you're going to be seeing a lot in Series 2. Considering it sets Drought. And Drought actually activates Protosynthesis for any uh, past form Paradox Pokemon. So I think you're going to see Torkoal a good bit. It has Drought as its ability. The Eject Pack as its item. And then Shock and Overheat. will o Helping Hand, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be Iron Valiant. Like I said, this design is amazing, and I just love it all around. It is a fairy and fighting type with the Ghost Terra, Rock and Cork Drive, and the Booster Energy as its item and ability, the Spirit Break, Shadow Call, Shadow Sneak, and Wide Guard. So we have two Ghost moves over here, can turn into Stab once we Terrasalize with this Pokemon. Third Pokemon is going to be Roaring Moon, and this Roaring Moon is made to hit hard. This one is Protosynthesis with Life Orb, and then it is Dragon and Dark type, Rock and Steel type with Terra, and then Breaking Swipe. Throat Chop, Iron Head, and Protect for its four moves. Awesome move set. All of them are stab. If you want to Thrasalize an Iron, it's pretty good. It is definitely really good. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Golden Go. I feel like we're going to see Golden Go a little bit in Series 2, but not as much as we did like in Series 1, considering there are going to be other Pokemon that start to counter it. This one has good as gold and the leftovers as item. Never seen leftovers as item, so this one's going to be a lot of fun to use. Move set is pretty normal. Make it rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Pot, and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Iron Bundle, the futuristic Delibird. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, like Delibird's not that cool looking of a futuristic Pokemon, but I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon is one of the best futuristics, or I should say Paradox Pokemon in the game. It is just so strong, its stats are amazing, and its typing is really solid with ice and water. It has Quirk Drive as its ability, the Focus Sash as its item, and then Rocket Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the Little Bird. It is going to be Murkrow over here with Prankster and Evo Link. Tailwind, Sunny Day to set the Sun, Haze, and Foul Play for its moveset. Really good all around. Cannot go wrong with Murkrow in Series 2. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Iron Valiant team. First match coming at you guys, and this one's a wild one. Look what we're going up against. We're going up against a full Paradox team with Maridon. Definitely very scary. Definitely very scary. I know Maridon and Caridon are not legal in uh, ranked battles when Series 2 comes out, but we're on the casual ladder, so maybe we could try to whoop up on it. I'm going to try to whoop up on it, but who are they going to lead? That is the real question, and who should I lead? Who should Jeans lead here? I feel like we got to set Tailwind. We have to go in with Murkrow, right? Murkrow in with the Warring Moon could be a play. Could definitely be a play. But the problem is if we set Sunny Day... He also thrives from that. So that's our problem. <laughs> that's our problem. I'm going to go into Roaring Moon. Or do I go into Valiant for turn one? Valiant's really not going to be bad. I could switch straight into Ghost, which could be solid for us. It wouldn't be bad. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What do we do here? This seems like a problem. This seems like a big time problem. But I'm going to go... I'm going to go Valiant here. I'm going to go Valiant. I'm going to bring the Deli Bird, the Iron Bundle. And then last but not least, I got to bring my Roaring Moon. They got all these Paradox Pokemon, I gotta get after. So I'm going Paradox with Little Bird up against all-time Paradox. But they don't have any way of setting Tailwind besides maybe Roaring Moon, if it is rocking it. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see how this one plays out. This one seems crazy, but what a way to get the video started for today. Just all Paradox out. You guys have been wanting to see some Paradox Pokemon. I got you guys. But if you guys have Series 2 teams, leave them in the comment section down below or send them to me over all my Twitter DMs. I would love to get my hands. I absolutely love it. But he's going to end up going into Maridon and Iron Hands here. Oh, and this thing is just going to quirk drive everything. This thing, this is why this thing's illegal. <laughs> like, this thing is ridiculous. But we're having some fun on the right ladder. Iron Hands going to get a boost here. Uh, okay. What am I going to from here? It's a real question. I want to see uh, Maridon's stats. Or typing. It's electric. Terrifying. Honestly, terrifying. 
Uh. Hmm. I could go for tail when he has fake out ready to go. That's the problem. Uh. Sh 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 do I terrasalize? I don't think I terrasalize. I just think I start attacking Maridon. Fake out coming into my Iron Valiant. I was going to protect it. Wow, that fake out did a little bit too much damage. A little bit too much damage. I think Iron Valiant's going to go down here. Let's see what he's going for. What are you going for? Electro Drift. Oh, God. Hit my Murkrow, please. Thank you. Oh, Lord, that move looks insane. Wow, is there any downside to that? That move looks wild. That move looks wild. But we have Tailwind set up. I'm digging it. That thing is orbed. And we can get out the bundle now. Could get out the bundle. Or we can get out just the moon. And break and swipe across the board. Because break and swipe... Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to double down and ride on. I'm getting after it. I want that thing dead. I want it gone. I want it out of here. Tired of it. Tired of it. Yeah, break and swipe all day. And I think it drops tax that, right? Mm-hmm. Drops tax that, and then we're going to double down into this Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Oh, I can get out my Iron Bundle and have his Quirk Drive boost, too, because it's rain, which is really solid. We'll see what our opponent wants to do here. I know we outspeed. No Terrasalize comes out here. Breaking Swipe flying here. Getting some big damage off on the Maridon. Getting the attack drop onto the Iron Hands, and then Iron Valiant should outspeed and just get rid of that Pokemon, which is big time for Big, big time. Spirit Break coming in here. Iron Valiant uses its dual blade sword to just slash up on that thing. Yo, Iron Valiant's sick. Iron Valiant's real cool. So we get rid of the Legendary. We were already in a hole considering we had a Legendary. But Drain Punch is going to fly in. That can't owes me. I knew I should have Terrasalized. But even if we did Terrasalize, we were dead anyway. Iron Bundle's a problem. Or not Iron Bundle. Iron Hands. That Pokemon's really good. I think it's top tier in series still. But he's going to take me out there. I still have my Valiant to drop Spirit Breaks into that, which is going to be good. And then I can bring out the Bundle. One though, I could just tear and start ripping with water moves. It really depends what Pokemon they go into. But again, we have speed with the tail, which is huge. I could tear slice into Ghost. My Quirk Drive is going to boost here too, which is huge. And we're going to roll from there. Roaring Moon comes out here. Oh, yeah. We're getting right after that. Ice moves all day. Ice moves all day. Or I can hit that thing with Fairy if I wanted to. The speed's heightened. I think my quirk drives here too. Huh. Do I terror here? If I terror, then I'm, I'm weak. I have to. I might just get after Iron Hands. I might double down to Iron Hands. He seems like a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Iron Hands seems like a problem. Iron Hands seems. I'm gonna have to double down to Iron Hands here. I'm doubling down to Iron Hands. He's a problem. He's going to take out my Deli Bird. Even though Roaring Moon's beast too. Bro, Paradox is going to get crazy. All these Pokemon. I think the battles are going to be so quick because everyone's just hitting like a truck. So I have speed right now. I have to double down to Iron Hands. I have to get rid of this Pokemon. The must. Are you Terrasalizing too? They do not. Hydro Pump's going to land here. We're getting after you. Doubling down into this Pokemon. Hopefully KO it because it's bulky. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to KO it. Again, this thing's way too bulky. Okay, we do KO. That's big time. That's big time right there. We get rid of him. What's Roaring Moon going for? This is the real question. Acrobatics. We're dead to that, aren't we? Yeah. Now we just have our bundle left. Oh, that hurts the soul. That hurts. We played pretty good, but they got the legendaries. Iron Hands was just teeing off on our team. But not a bad first battle. Not going to lie. Not a bad first battle. Considering Valiant did some work. It really did. Got rid of Maridon. Now Fluttermane's going to fly through here. Fluttermane. And Fluttermane's also top two. And from here, I'm just going to go into the freeze dry. Hopefully, he's not terrasalizing. And we can get off some big time damage onto this Roaring Moon. But we'll see. We shall see. Because I don't think we could have KO'd the uh, Iron Hands if we didn't double down into it. Because that could have been big if we did. Then I would have had a freeze dry already off onto the Roaring Moon. But he's going to end up terrasalizing. If I had to guess, that's probably Roaring Moon. Yeah, Moon's going to moon's gonna get it. And he's going to go straight into flying. Which we're still super effective onto, which I love. We are still super effective with. But I get to go first. I'm popping a freeze dry. How much damage are we doing? We do not KO. I need a KO. But again, these Pokemon are just ridiculously strong. Acrobats is now stabbed. That might 
Yeah, I was going to say, that might KO me, but we had Focus Ash. And the Shadow Balls can come in here, pick up the KO, and we start off 0-1. So not a bad first battle. I feel like if they did not have Maridon on our team, we could have been way better off because they wouldn't have set the Quirk Drive for that Iron Hands, and Iron Hands wouldn't have just ran through my team pretty easily. Second battle coming at you guys. No Paradox Pokemon for opponent. It's okay. Our other opponent in match number one used up all the Paradox Pokemon. But we're going up against a Gargonacle and Hippowdon team. Alongside with Tinkaton, Crookedile, Floatzel, and Rapska. Rapska has Revival Blessing, which is a cool move. Gotta watch out for that. But who do I think he's going to lead? I think they're going to definitely lead Tinkaton just for fake out purposes. So from here, I'm gonna, I still want to go Iron Valley. I really like this Pokemon. I feel like I can get some work done. So I, I want Iron Valley in here. And plus, it did a lot of work in that last battle. Took out the Iron Hands and the Maridon. And was super effective onto that uh, Roaring Moon if we still had it. But still, Iron Valiant's a beast. I'm loving this Pokemon so far. So I'm going to go into Iron Valiant. And I think I'm just going to lead Tailwind user. Or do I just go Iron Bundle? I think Iron Bundle could be a lot better. Super effective onto the Gargonac, onto the Hippowdon. We have Freeze Drive for the Floatzel. Super effective onto the Crookedile. Plus, we can just Icy Wind to get that Speed Control. So I'm going to go in both of them. I uh, am going to bring Gold Go, or do I bring Torkoal and Gold Go? Because uh, I. Do I bring War Moon? I feel like I have to, right? I feel like I have to. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to bring War Moon. And Gold Go or Torkoal? I think Torkoal could be really good. We can proto synthesize War Moon later in the match, too. I'm with it. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves our first win for today's video. Yeah, yo, more ride on. That move was sick when he used. I forget even what it was, but it turned to the wheel. Electric just hit up on my little bird, Murkrow. Murkrow never stood a chance. Never stood a chance. But yeah, that's why Maridon and Karidon are not allowed in rank. Because they can legit just set off Quark Drive's Protosynthesis and just absolutely seem like that. He's going to end up going into... Hit Powdon and Tinkaton, and he can fake out one of my Pokemon. I think I just double protect it, right? I might just double protect. Like, who is he gonna fake out? I have my Cork Drive boosted. My attack is hooked. I think I just double protect. Or I can go here, Terrasilize, and just Shadow Call this thing. This is exactly what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna protect the bundle. So I think Fake Out's gonna go into the bundle, but I'm gonna Terrasilize into Ghost just in case he wants to fake me out. I can just do it that way. So I'm with it. Plus, he can hit me with a fairy move, which I am I would not like. So, Terrasilization is going to be very good. We got the Ghost Terror type in here. Shadow Claw can do some decent damage. I'm all with it. Iron Valiant just... I love its design. I think its design is amazing. Protect comes out from the bundle. And what's he going to go into? Shadow... No Fake Out. No Fake Outs come in here. Shadow Claw is just straight flying. He's sending it. Bop. Big time damage. So we know another Shadow Claw can KO next turn. Seems gonna end up Swords Dancing. That's a big mistake. Waste of a turn. Thank God we didn't double protect. Thank the Lord we didn't double protect. Thunder Fang coming in here. Thunder Fang me? That's it. I'm hitting you with a pump. You're getting pumped. We're getting Hydra pumped. So Tinkaton sitting here. Full Swords Dance up. It's gotta go. Iron Valiant, you gotta rip it up. So again, I'm just gonna go into a Shadow Claw. Yeah, Shadow Claw, and I'm just gonna rip into a Hydra. Right, yeah. We're gonna. Do we go into a Hydra Pump or do we Freeze Dry? Because we know Freeze Dry will land. But Hydra Pump. If you land, it's KO City. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go straight into the Hydra Pump. And it lands. Let's go. Bundle. Bundle saying see you later to hit out on. Hydra Pump coming in here. Later. Later. I wonder if Freeze Dry would have KO'd. But there's an easy double kill. Yo, Paradox Pokemon getting after it. They getting after it. Valiant's going crazy right now. Bundle's doing some work. But yeah, I really like this Terra type. I know we have no fighting moves on this Pokemon, but I really like this Ghost Terra on Iron Valiant. I really do. I think it's really good, especially because it learns Shadow Sneak, give it a first time priority. And then if you have the Terra type of Ghost, you get that stab boost on top of that. So it's just huge. It's just ridiculously huge. It's amazing. But yeah, like you guys saw in the last battle, Iron Hands is top tier. You guys are going to be seeing Iron Hands a lot across the meta when Series 2 comes out. Same thing with Fluttermane. Those two Pokemon are up there in, like, the best Paradox Pokemon. So you're going to be seeing them a lot. Make sure you guys, when you guys do build teams, build teams kind of counter around them. So again, you're going to be seeing them a lot. Dragonacles can come out here. Not worried about it. And Crookedile's come out here. Not worried about it. <laughs> not even close to worried about these Pokemon. I can Spirit Break uh, the Crookedile. And do we go for another... Did we go for another Hydra Pump land? Yeah, we got it. We got to go for another Hydra Pump land. Oh, no, it missed. It missed. <laughs> it missed. It's all good. Spirit Break flying through here from the Valiant. 
Get off some big time damage. See you later, yo. Dude, I'm telling you guys, these Paradox Pokemon are gonna be like they gotta go after like a month or two. They gotta go after a month or two. Because they're gonna be a lot of fun for like I guess like the first half of the month. And then you're just gonna be seeing too much of it. Kind of like legendaries and sword and shield. It was really fun for like the first series with that. <coughs> and then they left them around a little bit too long. And you were sitting there, you're like, come on, yo, I don't feel like seeing Kyogre and Zacian again and again and again. And then you belt on top of that. That's how I feel like Paradox Pokemon are going to be. But it's all good. It's all good. They're, they're definitely going to be fun for the first little bit. I'm just going to Hydro Pump. It's GG's. Iron Bundle and Iron Valiant sweep. Oh, wow. We don't care. We don't even do half. The thing vested? That's a, that's a huge surprise that that thing ate it like that. That ate that Hydro Pump like that? That is a huge surprise. I think it's because of the boost from the Sandstorm, too. Makes it very, very bulky. But he's going to go into the Rock Blast. Oh, that's sad. Only hits us two times. It only hit us two times. That's a dang shame. Considering he wouldn't have got swept if uh, he would have KO'd my Iron Bundle. But <laughs> was not able to KO my Iron, Iron Bundle. I'm just going to go into another Spirit Break. I'm going to change this into a Freeze Dry. That's going to be GG's. Does your opponent cancel? Does not. Let's Gargle Knackle die out. See you later. Sweep for battle number two. Let's hop into our third. Let's showcase the team a little bit more and grab ourselves a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. No more Paradox Pokemon. Like I said, in the first battle, they, our opponent used up all of our Paradox luck for uh, today's video. We just versed every single Paradox Pokemon in that one battle. <laughs> it was hilarious. Not every single one, but you guys get the gist. He had six Pokemon that were all Paradox. But final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Don Dozo team. And Don Dozo, you're still going to see in Series 2, I feel like. It's still definitely a very strong Pokemon with the Commander and Tatsugiri. Or as you guys like for me to say, Tatsugummy. So they got the Gummy and the Don Dozo. They also have the Sylveon, the Murkrow, the Amoongus, and the Dragapult. So we're definitely going to want to bring our Murkrow. Our Murkrow is going to be good because we can haze down that Don Dozo if need be. And we're going to go into... Do we go Valiant as lead again? Valiant Iron Bundle? I like that lead. That lead was awesome. I definitely want to go Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle rips into a lot of these Pokemon. And I might go Golden Go here. I might go Golden Go. I think I am going to... Actually, let's go Roaring Moon. Let's go Roaring Moon here. And the reason I say Roaring Moon as lead is because I think Sylveon is going to get a lead. And if Sylveon gets a lead, then in that case, we just tear a straight into steel and we get right after it. But again, what's called is going to be a problem. Sylveon is just going to be strong in Series 2 as well. I think Sylveon is really, really good all around in competitive play. I think in every single season it's going to be solid. It's a straight fairy type. Its stats are amazing. Its moveset's solid. It's, especially with terror type, it's really good. But we're going to end up seeing... Wow, look at that. Look at that lovely floor. You guys saw that? <laughs> they they got to fix that. They haven't fixed like the graphical issues yet. But we're going to see Amoongus alongside with Dragapult. And from here, I feel like we just straight up free shrine into this thing. And then we Terrasalize. And we go into a throw chop. I do want to go into a break and swipe, but it's all good. We're going to end up seeing Rage Powder. But I'm trying to slice into steel just so we can get after the battle that way. I could have Icy Wind and break and swipe, but that might be a next turn kind of thing. That might be a next turn kind of thing. Because I could definitely see Dragapult going for those straight Dragon moves into my Roy Moon. We'll see. And a Rage Powder coming out here. But we're both trash sliding here. That's totally fine. And what type of Thrash slides into? Fire? I know a lot of pulls go in the fire. This one's straight dragon. He's all about it. He's all about the dragon. It's all about the dragon. So hopefully you're going after my uh, Warren Moon here. Freeze Dry coming out here. Doing some big time damage to Amoongus. Taking it out. Dude, Iron Bundle rips. <laughs> Iron Bundle rips. It rips. We outspeed too. That's huge. Throw chop. Oh my lord. Yo, Paradox Pokemon. Chill. Chill! Chill! Gotta chill! I know that was a crit, but chill! Chill, yo! Our opponent's gonna quit. We might have to bring you guys a fourth battle. We might have to bring you guys a fourth battle. But out comes these guys, and it's gonna be Gummy and Dondozo. I'm not worried about it. We might not even need a, uh... We might not even need... To haze this thing. We have haze in the back end if need be, but I'm gonna try to take it out without the haze. Let him do its thing. Let him do its thing. You know what I'm saying? We'll let it do its thing. <laughs> but yeah, obviously I can swap. But free stride can probably do a nice chunk of damage. I'm about free stride. Could break and swipe just to lower its attack stat. I think I'm gonna do that. Battle was just canceled. Oh my lord. You know what? Let's bring you guys fourth battle. I think you guys deserve a fourth battle here. 
fourth and final battle coming at you guys. We're two and one. I want to bring you guys an extra battle considering the second and third battle. We're just clean sweeps, very quick battles. I want to bring you guys some more content, but this is awesome. Going up against some more Paradox and Future Form Pokemon. They got Ancient Tusk, who I heard is actually pretty good on the rank ladder. Haven't used it too much yet. Iron Valiant, just like us. Iron Bundle, just like us. And then they got Iron Hands and I think it's called Iron Jugulus, the Hydreigon form. I think it is. And then they got Pinchurch and it set that Electric Train to boost Quirk Drive on all those features. Okay. Hmm. Who am I leading? How am I playing this? I kind of want to get... I kind of want speed. So I'm going to I'm gonna go Bundle and Valiant. They just seem too good, right? They just seem way too good. I am going to bring in... Did I bring in the Moon? I think Golden Go is not bad here either. I really kind of do like Golden Go. So I'm going to go in with Golden Go. And then last but not least, do I go in with the Moon? Would I go in with the Torkoal? I, we got to go Moon. We got to go Moon. It's just so strong. It's just so strong. So I'm going to bring in the moon. I'm going to bring in the moon. Fourth and final battle here for you guys. We're at two and one, but we grew, we already technically grabbed ourselves a winning record because we don't really do four battles over here. But if this is your first time watching, you guys are in for a good show. Four battles? I think I only did this like once on the channel before. <laughs> it's usually always three. But we're looking for a win. We're looking for a 3-1 winning record here. And Church and Iron Jug is coming out here. And I don't even know that thing's typing. But we go Valiant. We go Bundy. Electric Surge pop it, so everybody's boosted. Cork drives all across the board. Iron bundles, cork drive coming out here. My speed titan. Awesome. Dope. Iron Jugulus. What's that heightened for him? Speed. Cork drive. Am I speeding up or am I attacking? I'm attacking, baby. Loving it. Alright. So I want to see this thing's typing, first and foremost. It's gonna be dark and flying. I can find. I feel like Iron Bundle just rips into this thing with an icy wind, right? I could Terrasize here too. Uh which I think I do want to do. And do I get after a pinch urchin? I do have focus ash. I'm gonna start chipping up on the pinch urchin. I am gonna start chipping up on the pinch urchin. We are going to Terrasize our Iron Valiant, just in case the flying move wants to come across the board and hit us. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we're terrestrialized there. We have the focus ash on our bundle in case the electric move wants to come out from the pinch urchin. Let me just go from there. So let's see how this one plays. He ends up protecting, which was rather smart. Definitely smart because I was thinking he was going to do that just to hit up on my deli bird. And deli bird's going to take damage. But again, like I said, we have focus ash and I was fine with getting hit by this pinch urchin all day. But pinch urchin is actually one of the slowest Pokemon in the game. So we know this thing's going to go last. I did almost, almost half damage, which I really want to get off. And he has discharge. This rip with discharge. We're gonna hope no paralyzed come out here, but we know he's, we're gonna get paralyzed, right? We know we're getting paralyzed. Told you. There's one. Come on, show me another one. We know we're paralyzed. Okay, cool. So Deli Bird's here. Uh, I'm gonna icy wind. Just to slow down everybody, because I think Iron Bundle should be faster. And I'm just gonna KO the Pinch Urchin. That's my play. That is my play. Icy Wind coming out here. Yep, Iron Bundle does out speed. We slow down Iron Jugulus. And mm, is Iron Jugulus going after my my Valiant? I kind of hope not. Goes for Dark Pulse. Okay, cool. And my Deli Bird. So Valiant should still be faster than Pinch Urchin as long as we're not paralyzed this turn. It should be fine. Yep, cool. So Spirit Break flies through it. We get rid of the Pinch Urchin. I have Shadow Sneak. And I might as well use it right next turn. Because if not, I die out. So he gets rid of me. I do have... Roaring Moon, but I kind of want to go into Golden Go. We come to go Golden Go. I don't have Terror. That's a problem. But I think he's not Dragon. He's flying. I'm gonna go into Golden Go. Actually, no, I'm not. I think it's Dark type. I'm, I'm not going into Golden Go. I'm going into Roaring Moon here. So Roaring Moon's gonna fly out here again. I have Shadow Sneak. I'm kind of hoping Shadow Sneak could just straight up KO. Which I don't think it can, because Bundle's flying. Man. Bundle's a problem. Bundle's a problem, because that Quirk Drive's going to boost the speed. Bundle, you're a problem. You are indeed a problem. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to protect more Moon, and I'm just going to Shadow Sneak right here. Who do I Shadow Sneak? I have to Shadow Sneak the Bundle. He's going to Dark Pulse me down. He's gonna Dark Pulse me down. I have to get off as much damage as I can onto the bundle. Shadow Sneak flying here. How much damage are we really gonna do on the bundle? I know bundle's not like super bulky. So I'm hoping we can do a nice chunk. 
Yeah, it's not bad for Shadow Sneak. Here comes the Dark Pulse. Well, that's Ice Beam first. We block. We know he outspeeds us, which is tough. This is tough. And okay, he sets up a Tailwind. Sets up a Tailwind. The real question is, can we eat up <laughs> whatever he has to offer? I don't think we can. Definitely went Throw Chop. I throw Chop you. Yeah, we have to get rid of the bundle. Throw Chop will KO, so I might as well just go for the Spirit Breaker over onto this thing. Let's see, there's Ice Beam. Can you eat that out? Probably not, right? We do eat. No freeze. No freeze. Oh, no shot, yo. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. We would have had a shot at win this battle. We would have had a shot at win this battle. Get out of here with that. Unfreeze right now. Unfreeze right now. Unfreeze right now. Come on now, yo. Come on now. All right. So if you think about this, Deli Bird should be dead. Deli Bird would have been dead. Wow. Shouldn't even have done a fourth and final battle, but got to showcase these Paradox Pokemon a little bit more for you guys. But wow, Iron Bundle should be dead. I would have brought out Golden Go. I would have protected Golden Go because I know that. It don't even matter, though. This one's over with. I would have protected uh, Golden Go and went after the Iron Jugulus. But dude, come on with that. Come on with that. We'll go after Iron Bundle here. And I guess we'll just drop and make it rain. Best bet here, but yeah, it's over with. Oh, he goes for it. He decides to go for a pump. That is very weird. Dark Pulse KOing us. It does not hold up. Wait a minute. I'm still frozen out. Can you pick up a double KO, please, Golden Go? Help out the squad over here. I love you. I love you. I love you. Our special attacks dropped, but we picked up a double KO. We really lost two turns to a Ice Beam Freeze. Usually whenever I get a freeze, they thaw out right away. But yeah, look at Roar Moon. He's just stuck in air. No movement whatsoever. <laughs> I love the freeze animation. <laughs> we get some leftovers HP. We're minus one on special attack. Who is your final Pokemon? Who is your final Pokemon? But Golden Go coming out here. I'm surprised he went for a Hydro Pump. Really surprised for that. Iron Valiant coming out here. I need my boys to wake up. I need my boys to wake up. Quirk Drive's out here. Speed is heightened. Gotta go for the Iron Head. Gotta go for the Iron Head. We gotta go for the Make It Rain. Let's do it. Is he Trashalizing? Did they use Terra yet? Knockoff comes out here. Can you wake up? Yo. Iron Moon. Can you wake up here? Or not wake up? Can you unfreeze? Thaw out. Thaw out, my dude. Yo. <laughs> what are the odds? We lost three turns? Hellwind's gone. Can you outspeed and just thaw out? No shot. I think Iron Valley is faster than this. There's Tarasalize. Wow. Three turns. Not one, not two, but three turns we just lost. We just lost three turns. This thing's going to Tarasalize into, oh my lord, we can KO it. We can KO it. We can KO this thing. Straight Fairy. Straight Fairy. I think it outspeeds us regardless. Yeah. Outspeeds us regardless, but three turns. We would have won that battle. We would have won that battle. Hurts the soul. But hey, two and two for today's video. Brought you guys four battles. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Two and two for today's video. Had a heartbreaker in match number four. Kind of crazy that we lost three turns to uh, being frozen, but it's all good. Definitely should have won that battle. But uh, again, we're on the casual ladder. I just want to showcase these Pokemon and get you guys some awesome teams for series two. But Iron Valiant was absolutely amazing. That was a Pokemon that I want to showcase today. And we fully got the showcase. I feel like Deli Bird, Iron Bundle really got the uh, steal the spotlight just a little bit, but still. Iron Valiant was amazing, and I'm glad I got to showcase that Pokemon for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.